I'm working with a new software. This is um, Meshroom from uh, uh, Alice Vision. And so the reason I chose this kind of is a nicer interface and I've done a couple projects in it, so I just want to show you how to get started with this one in a couple seconds. So the first thing is download um, Meshroom. I'm using version 2019 2.0 and it's just a simple extract and run. I don't even think there's an installer for it. And then what we'll do here is I'm going to use the same model I did before, which is the, uh, let me just drag them in. About 100 images there. Okay. There they are. Let's save our project. Save as. I'm going to make a new one. Save. And then what we're going to do now is we're just going to run to right here. So first, take we're going to see how well it does here. Um, and then go to uh, Structure for Motion. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on Compute. You can see this bar up here. Gives us an idea of what's going on. And then, of course, we also have this one here. So probably take a few minutes. Um, and if we were to go to the text stream like all the way through, we would wait for it to come all the way over here. Um, and the green line would go the entire way, but we could stop halfway through, so we're just gonna let that go. A lot of additional features here I need to take a look into, see if I can understand exactly what's happening. So, need some down that. Zoom in and out, and we can duplicate, create new boxes, but we can't do that when it's running. So I am just going to let it run for a little bit and see, uh, see what we have when we get back. All right, and we're back. So we just uh, finished. Um, it didn't really take that long. You can see here it's 537 now. So total time. I think it was about three minutes for that. About a minute for each of those steps. Um, I don't have the full time, but we can figure it out. I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, and so then if we take a look at our model, you can see here it's upside down. But it seems that all of the, uh, the hall has been properly oriented and we are looking at our house Gerard Hall not too much of an issue okay so I think now based on this these are just the sparse cloud points um, you can probably move forward and uh, go all the way to texture. So that actually looks pretty good. Um, so I'm actually going to uh, get it set up for that. Uh, and then all the way. So compute and we'll see how we do. Okay, so back at you. Um, this one took a little bit for me to finish up. So I'm just kind of finishing this video up, showing you what it looks like when we're finally done. So here we go. We have the house. And if you click on texturing box over here, you get input, which is the folder where you're looking at what came from your mesh filtering, the images folder, which is where it copied all your images. And now we have our output folder. And you can see that our file is called mesh.obj. So we're gonna go into mesh lab. We'll open up this guy and we'll see how it looks so um, here we are go to mesh lab i have it open but you can see here i just go to import mesh and then it's in this texturing folder mesh from cache texturing uh, and then textured mesh.obj so some of the differences you can see here you can see that it doesn't have a light gate this part doesn't look as clean. Uh, the edges Sorry, look I quite... pretty clean uh, for the building. 
And then, like the other one, we also don't have... Ooh, that is nice and clean. Yeah, and the roof is also needs some adjustment here too. But, uh, not too shabby. Nice clean model. And that is how you make a model with um, Meshroom. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and mash that like button.